I, I think this will, this will be the last game where this game gets a lot of hoopla. I, I don't think the public really wants to hear about it too much anymore. Jack and Kobe actually acknowledged each other on several occasions prior to the open tip. We had a game on Martin Luther King Day. I didn't want them talking about beef on that day. Remember that day? Everybody's mm -hmm. going to back? Mm -hmm. And I just came to you and I put my hand yeah. out. I was like, I oh, hope the put his hand yeah. <laughs> Of course, <laughs> man. Of course. And the, the you know, so-called beef was over. They're going out of their way to show the world that they're getting along now, Mark. See, NBA stands for nothing but actors. Like I tell people all, this all the time, we had our disagreements, but in real life, it's not like I'm going to, you know, have an argument with you when you you're with your family. Right. Like it's this life. It's always Uncle like, Shaq. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. So, so, but we had to keep it going. So, I love you, but I don't want to talk to you. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How so, my ass take? Yeah. 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 <laughs> That, oh, the, hold on, no, I got was, it. I'm ready. No, but that I'm was something ready. different. Yeah, I'm that, ready. Yeah, yeah, but that was something different. <laughs> stop. Hey. Think about that. It ain't about that. It's about P.I.G., a.k.a. Big Shaq. Now that's the difference between first and last play. Kobe, nigga, tell me how my ass tastes. I loved it. I loved every bit of it. I was in a comedy club. Yeah. And y'all had loss. Ray Allen, wide open three. Bang! A 38-point lead for the Boston Celtics. And after a 22-year absence, the Boston Celtics are NBA champions once again. No, I know. Yeah, and I, know, I lost, get so it. I just had to do something just to Bruh, keep the crowd listen, going. I know, I know, I, I used it, though. But, but you know what? That, was a, that right there was the beginning of the snitcher net. Yeah. I mean, because I'm in a club, in a club in New York, an <laughs> underground club, and they say I know it's Thinking all, it's all good. Yeah, yeah, you know, I'm just doing it, everybody laughing at a good time, and the next thing I know, I get a call from Uncle Jerome. What the hell you do that, man? Like, what you talking about? What the hell is Kobe Hall? I'm like, Bro, oh. listen, I think I heard it on Power 106. Damn, they big playing boy. on the radio? Big, they playing on the radio. Damn, big boy. They were talking about it early in the morning or something like that. Yeah, but you, but you know what I realized about people? They loved us so much, they love to keep our beef going. Yeah. They loved it. Yeah. Well, it, it kind of it, it it was entertainment for the city for so was long. It? it was like, okay, what's going to happen? Because it, it was not a conversation of whether or not they're going to win the game. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't, you yeah, know, never, yeah, that never wasn't a topic that. of discussion. Yeah, it was like, that. okay, they're going to win tonight, or you know, they're going to make the playoff. It wasn't that was never the topic? It was always okay. What are these two going to be like tonight? Yeah. What did he say? What did he yeah, say? Yeah, yeah. We're going to reunite the two of you back together again on Valentine's Day. Hey, what's up, young boy? What's up, man? What's up? Hey, hey. It felt good to play with you again. It did. I had flashbacks. It felt great. It was, the game was real easy, and we read each other very easily. And um, yeah, it was uh, it was fun to kind of you know go back to memory lane. Do you believe him when he says it was all a media ploy by him to grab attention and take pressure off of you? Big chief marketer? Yeah, you should say that all the time. <laughs> you should say that all the time. Kobe Bryant, Shaquille O'Neal, co-MVPs of All-Star 2009. I know you're not exactly the sentimental type, but when you guys are having the interaction on the court, feel like old times a little bit, does it make you a little bit at all wistful for being able to play with Shaq, having those those moments? No. <laughs> Sha Shaq? No. <laughs> but do you remember what you did during that game to make me realize I was with you all these years? No. You don't remember? Mm -mm. So we got the co-MVP. It's me, mm -hmm. Sharif, and you standing on stage. And what did you tell me to do? You told me to take the trophy home. That's right. Remember that? I did. And I took it home and I gave it to Sharif. Yeah. And I, and I realized now, I was like, I think I may have messed something up. Because a lot of times that our beef was going on, you know me, I'm the master marketer. Mm -hmm. About 60% of the time, I would just say it just to keep it going. But like when you did that, when you didn't have to do that, because you know usually they take it and they mail it, but right. just like Shaq, you know you, and you know Sharif loves you. Uh, so you know, so he goes Sharif, and you gave him the trophy. I, I, you know, I just said to myself, now I was like, luckily I won three out of four <laughs> with this guy, but I was a <laughs> to this guy. So I, I owe you an apology. I'm gonna give you an apology, but we ain't gonna be doing all that crying. No. And that, you know what I'm <laughs> but thank you for that moment because uh, like Sharif loved that moment. That was the first time I was able, you know, to give him something. He was there. I was going through a lot at that time, and you know he loved you for it. I love you for that moment. Yeah, so thank you for that moment. Thank you. Couldn't have been any, scripted any better. Uh, maybe my last one, if it is, it'll be a hell of a DVD. All Star Game is over. Now it's time to get back down to business. See if we can't get that championship.